I am at Graves Hill, Safar, Queensland at the moment where I'm noodling or specking for sapphires. I've got a rainbow lorry kit outside my caravan trying to get me to go outside and feed him. Where are you? Hello? Flying away. He's camera shy. Why are birds camera shy? Hey! Birdie, birdie! <whistles> Hello, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey! 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 You want to say hello? You're going to say hello? Hey! Do you want some food? Okay, we have to wake up Wally so he can give you some food. Huh? Where's Wally? Wally, come on, Wally, where's Wally, where's Wally? Okay, the cute rainbow lorry kit and Pedro's inside his cage still. Hey baby P, he's not very good in the morning, so he just sits in his cage. He needs to warm up, aren't you baby P? Hey, until later on, especially if there's a sun. He doesn't like sun, so he waits till the sun goes away. Yes, I know. Look at this one complaining. Yeah, you're complaining. Hey, look at you. Look at you. Beautiful colors, the sun's uh, again. Two seconds, yeah. Okay, I don't know if I can get you. Woohoo! Such a pretty, pretty bird. Who's a pretty, pretty bird? Pretty, pretty bird. And there's also one sitting in my chair outside. Look at that. Hey, okay, I better wake up Wally because he's been the one feeding them. The boss is awake, and so now <laughs> he's feeding the birds. You cute little feathers, eh? They are so tame. Look at them, hey? Anything for a feed, isn't it? Hmm. You wanna come home with us? Hey, you wanna come home with us? No? No? Is that yummy? Geez, you gotta be close. Hey! They are so pretty. Look at them. Hmm. They got to be the one of the tamest bird, isn't it? Mm. Much tamer than a budgie. Hey. And not as messy as a budgie. I know, they only poop, I think, five times a day. <laughs> and I think you can toilet train them. I think so. Hey, is that yummy? Hang on, I'll go on the other side because the sun is against me. Mm. Can't really see. Oh, there! Look at that. A beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. Look, you're pretty. What's wrong with this piece of bread? How can we gonna eat your friends? Oh, look! They're gonna swap. Look at that. <laughs> Why don't you just have your own piece? Okay. I think these two are a male and a female because yeah, they're, they're always together, yeah, huh? They're a pair. Yeah, they're always together. Okay, I'm gonna make a cup of now. Hmm. And the area that we're in, as we pulled up, in the shade, I already found one sapphire, opaque, not clear blue or anything like that, not transparent. Just an opaque one, but it'll still make a nice cabochon and have a natural sapphire cabochon out of it. Okay, so I found it under the car, just under the wheels, just over there where I'm pointing my fingers. Anyway, so I went for Wanda where the sun shining on the malachapes all over the place here, as you can see. And I did not find any sapphires or zircon or anything worthwhile. So it was getting warm as well because it was a bit cold this morning. So I thought I'll take off my jacket and I went back to the car. But then a thought came on to me. I said to myself, well, most people who are digging and prospecting in this area in the past, would have to look for the wash or for the sapphires under this area here which is got a lot of shadows so the sun can't really go through here because of the trees above so anyway so there's a lot of shadowing so 
chances are if they were to miss sapphires they would miss it here compared to the ones that are in the open which is over there out in the sun so those are all tailings or malachites that people have dropped everywhere anyway so this whole area has been dug out but of course there'll be pockets where in they've missed and it would still be worthwhile to dig but for us i don't feel like digging at the moment so we're just pecking or noodling and i found another sapphire the cars here and on this malachite on the right hand side i found one just in that corner which is still in the shadow and opposite that which is this area here with that lovely nice prickly pear cactuses so just on the base of the tree, well really on the bottom there, I found a zircon. So, so far this is what I've got. So the three that I was explaining is the big one was the first one under the car. Uh, the left one is actually the sapphire or green sapphire. Only small, but still it's a sapphire. And the one on the right hand side is actually a zircon. So I don't know if I could show you... Uh, with the sun angle anyway, I can't hold the stone and the camera at the same time anyway So those three uh, On the bottom hand side is a zircon and two sapphires as well The biggest sapphire was specked by wall and also the small zircon and the green one was specked by me yesterday here when we came here Late in the afternoon, so that's why we decided to come back here again because if you find or if we find something in an area That's where we thought would be worth investigating further I am loving the shadow noodling or specking because at the tip of my tweezer is another stuff I already picked it up and I just put it back just so you can see exactly where I found it. Look another sapphire it's a little bit hard to see but you can see the sheen on the surface of that and at the end i don't think it's clear but you can see sort of okay a little bit where's the sun okay don't know if you can see that a little bit of translucency on the edge so there you go another sapphire how's that see shadow noodling works I am in this slope in the middle of a track or where you can at least drive into and on the left hand side here where it sort of drops down or slopes down just in this corner where the yellow container my yellow container there just this area here I found a zircon there a sapphire over there and another sapphire next to my little container so I've got confused now that big zircon from here that was from the other side this morning so those two one two three those three i just found in this corner here where if there's a rain any sapphires that would have been unearthed by other fossickers who's digging out here that they miss would have tumbled down slowly into this like a gully now but it's actually just a slope on the road so the lowest point is where I'm going but only on the edges because if there's anything in there that's in the gully itself like those ones here uh, you're not going to see it just sitting on top well you might but chances are you're better off digging which I would uh, actually putting it through a sieve you're not really digging you're just collecting the wash and just putting it on the sieve so so far I've got that but anyway something just caught my eye from a distance hang on is it a sapphire you're kidding me if it is no it's not so I thought that's a sapphire so anything that's sort of glinty and oops hang on now that's just maybe uh iron stones there's a lot of hang on broken iron stones so it's really hard to see here because there's so many black stones so your eyes have to focus on every single one of them and it's a lot to take in and i am getting a headache and my eyes are getting teary from looking and staring but anyway that's how I found my two sapphires and the bigger zircon. See, I'm talking, but I'm still um, looking. So you never stop looking because hopefully I might find a nice big one. 
already got a few so far for the morning but anyway i think this would still have to be probably the best one for today that still hasn't been touched where are you that one there so so for size there you go that's a beautiful one okay it's probably green okay oh no yeah sort of a greenish blue look little sapphire again you know what nah that's the biggest one i think i can't remember <laughs> so quite a few but anyway probably the biggest one for the morning but again just um noodling on the edges of any gullies or slopes or other people's wash basically that uh, has been washed by the rain over years of I don't know how many years but then old wash okay so I'm, I'm looking sorry uh, now okay the boss has got the little sapphire there but anyway I have to put it back into my container which is adding up my little specimen so I'll put it in my hand hang on put it here and pour the little sapphires and take three pour it please that one there's another einstone big one and around that one okay so that is my loot for the morning apart from three small ones there so that's what we found so far not bad not too bad for yeah a couple of hours of noodling hmm. okay so i'll continue and hopefully i find a really big one we're here gathering some wood for our campfire tonight and look who came in to drop in to say hello hey hello hello you just want some food aren't you hey you want to come and come hey you come hello and there's another one over here at the back hello hello our rainbow lorry kid friends come on you can hop off now you have to hop off look hey hey hello hello pretty one hello pretty one mm -hmm. he's gonna mm -hmm. bite you come on come 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 do you want some bickies do you want some bickies hey okay we go we go to camp now come on come on hop off hop off oh, come on get come on. on come on okay come on you want to come with us Oh, that other one is on top as well, the little magpie. You want to come? You want to come? Okay, let's go. And our campsite is just there. Our little caravan. Hey. Okay. 